Hi everyone, this is Brunilda from Taking My Life Back. I am a mother of four and an entrepreneur. So today I'm, I'm going to share a lot of my story. And we're also going to talk about the oxygen mask, um, which I love this metaphor and I'm going to use it a lot in my videos. So basically to share a little bit, I started this journey after um, I'd gotten laid off from my job in the financial sector. That was actually one of the really great things that happened to me because I felt so disconnected from this world more and more and I really didn't want to do it anymore, but I had like no clue what, what I was going to do if I didn't do that. So when I was laid off, I was like, okay, I will never, I really never, never want to go back and work for somebody else. But I had no clue what, what, what I was going to do. Um, and that's when, uh, with my husband, we started investing in, um, in real estate. And um, we bought more and more apartments, and now we just live from that, basically. Um, but this, actually, this whole life change actually triggered something different in me as well. Because my actual, real life combat since I was a teenager has been my weight. Um, I've always struggled with being overweight since I was a teenager and I've lost weight, I've gained weight back, I've lost, I've gained some more back, etc, etc. And now I'm just sick and tired of this. I want to get it over with. So this whole life change basically triggered um, something else in me. And this is when I started also wanting to take my life back. When with my husband, we, we, we set up this company and, um, and we were actually pretty successful. I realized I could do this. And since I could do this, well, there's probably a lot of other things I could do. And that is when it, when it triggered about my weight. So a couple of months ago, I decided that I was going to have a sleeve and I'm actually programmed for the surgery um, in the month of June of this year. Um, but I think my whole, well, my whole journey started before that and it was kind of this whole mental journey that led me to wanting this sleeve and wanting to, to stop this um, going up and down in weight and especially going up. Um, and one of the thing, one of the epiphanies for me was really the oxygen mask. So in airplanes, everyone, when they do the security announcement, they always tell you if you're accompanied by a minor, then you should, if there's a need for an oxygen mask, you should always put your own oxygen mask on yourself before you help others basically because uh, otherwise you probably if you don't have any oxygen you might actually just pass out and then you're of no use to anybody else and you can't take care of maybe the kid or whatever whom you're accompanying so I always tell you put your oxygen mask on first and then you can tend to others so when I realized this Metaphor was really good for me because I've always been one of these people who tended to everybody else before me. Everyone just went before my own needs, basically. And I realized that tending to my own needs before um, those of others were actually also being a better mom and a better wife and a better whatever because if I tend to my own needs first of all I'm being a better role model for my kids um, but also I am more I'm in a better shape and, and mental and physical um, to be there for my kids and for my family whom I really I mean put above every, everything else right so I realized this is something that a lot of us do, really a lot of us. We put ourselves aside and um, we tend to everybody else. And that's when you start, for example, a diet, you'll be like very 
um, motivated. And then if you don't make any changes, what probably has happened for you in the past um, and what definitely has happened for me is that, oh, but then the kids needed me and then that's why I didn't go work out or I just stopped eating what I know I was supposed to eat or whatever because something came up um, and I let that overcome my own goal and be a bigger priority than my own goal. And that is where I totally went wrong. Um, because tending, um, I, in, I think in some kind of subconscious way, I figured that my own goal was of less value than um, any emergency or whatever that could come up. And I kind of just always stuck it in the background, right? And if you stick your goals in the background, let me tell you, they're not going to happen. I think we kind of all know that, but we probably don't really actively think about it, right? Um, so it was really something that um, I never really realized before that I re always did this. But now that I've seen it, I'm like, oh my God, this is always what you do, actually. I just always, like if I have a goal of, I don't know, walking every day, emergency comes and there I go, I don't go walking every day, for example, or something else. Um, a kid needs me and then I'm like, okay, well, I'll just stick my own stuff in the background and I'll figure it out later. Well, actually, no. And in the beginning when I decided, when I talked with my husband about this sleeve, He's been really supportive about this, I have to say. And um, because he sees me, you know, suffering with um, this weight problem. And he's like, I've seen you struggle for so many years with this and do all these kinds of diets. And like every single time it's a whole emotional roller coaster. And it's like, it's true. It's true. Um, so that's where I figured that if I'm going to do have it, if I am going to have an operation, then I also need to do the mental work before, because if I don't work on the actual problem, well, it's just going to come right back and bite me in the butt, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a boomerang and if you even if you throw it really 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 far it's gonna come back it really is and you can do everything the whole wide world you want but until you actually solve the the root problem I guess of your issues then you can do whatever you want the weight is gonna come back um, and so in the beginning when I decided to have this um, operation I was like, I told him, I was like, what if, what if something happens to me? We have four small kids. Um, that would just be so awful. And then I was like thinking about this. And I was like, well, yes, it <laughs> totally would. And obviously I'm stressed about this. Um, but at the same time, if I don't do this, then chances are that I'm not going to be sticking around as long as I would like to for them and for grandkids and whatever what comes in the future and I want to be and I'm also not living my life a hundred percent I am I need to I really need to solve this problem because I would really love to go and like run around with them all the time and they're really physical. My kids are really physical. My husband is too. Like they are really active, right? Um, and I'm always kind of just um, in the background of all that. And I really want to participate in that while they're still small. So if I don't do this, then if I don't solve this issue, then I will also not really live my life to the fullest. And I only have one life. So... And I need to also be of a good role model for my kids. I need to show my kids that it's important, especially I have three girls. So it's really important for me to show them, you know, that as a woman, as a mom, you can still live your life to the fullest and, you know, have the best life ever. Um, 
and still be a mom and still be really present and all that, but still also, you know, do the stuff you want to do. And now I have like this, I really want to go for runs. I want to do like water sports and stuff like that. And in this shape, it's just going to be really hard. So it's something I really want to solve once and for all. And I only... I think I could, could only come to this conclusion because I already started this whole mental journey like three or four years ago. Um, this huge change that completely shook my life of stopping, you know, working for somebody else, finding out that, you know, we could actually do this. And it gave me a lot more confidence in myself and my own capabilities. And it also taught me how to put my needs first. I'm not saying I'm perfect at it. I'm not saying I get it all right every single time. Absolutely not. I still have a really long way to go. But I'm definitely getting way better and especially I've identified the problem. And that's if once it's identified, you can actually do something about it, right? You can be active about it. You can actually think actively about it and think, okay, I know I have this issue. So this is why I need to be really aware of this and make sure that, you know, I have my goal and I set it before everything else. And I still need to do my job. I still need to tend to my company and whatever. But I also need to set time aside for the stuff that I need to do for my body and for my current goal, which my per current personal goal is the weight loss. And this whole mental journey. So I'm ready. So once I get to the sleeve, I am actually really, really mentally ready. And I'm like, okay, let's go. Right. Um, and I think this is, um, this is going to be a really important part of my journey. But I wanted to touch on this subject with you guys because I know that there are a lot of moms out there who also want to make changes in their lives, whether it's weight or something else, but they just feel like they're being selfish, wanting to do this um, and wanting to put that maybe first. And so they don't really dare doing it. They don't really dare put themselves first and their own goals first. And I just wanted to you know, get this out there. Think about the oxygen mask. You cannot be of help to anybody else if you're not doing well. You're not going to be the same of the same help. If you feel like you're drowning every single day and you completely lost yourself, how on earth can you be the best help and the best for your kids and your husband and whatever else you have in your lives? You cannot. And it's only when you tend to this problem would you really want to take care of that you will see this it's only when you really put it first you really think about it it has to be like a precise problem it cannot be just I want to be happy and I'm gonna make a video about happiness as well but um until then but um until you tend to this problem you're not gonna be a hundred percent you right you're gonna be maybe 70, maybe 60, depends <laughs> on the size of the problem. But you're not going to be 100%. And you cannot be 100% you with the people you love, for example, if you still have this issue in the background all the time. So you need to be you and put yourself first. And only then you can be the best mom you can be or the best wife or the best friend or the whatever it is um but the best of yourself that's the kind of what i'm getting at i feel that it's time to be the best Pernilla i can be basically and for everybody else as well but especially for me i need to have my best life i need to this is this is the only shot we're gonna get so it's i'm not gonna be waiting to live something else um, later on. This is now. You never know what's going to happen in your life and you need to live your life right now. And quitting my job and starting something new really shook that up for me. And it was really hard in the beginning because um, 
it made a lot of changes, even mentally. I had to let go of a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, so I had to let go of the old me to create the new one. And when that process started, that's when I realized um, all of these issues. And I started my journey. And it's been a really long process, but it's, you know, on its way and I think it's going pretty well. But, um, but the first thing, the first thing you need to realize is putting yourself first is not being selfish. It is just trying to be the best you for you and for everybody else. And everybody else is going to benefit from you being the best you yourself included. So I hope this uh, video um, will help a lot of people. Um, if you liked it, don't hesitate to give the thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.